I know I'm late to the party, but I'm finally reviewing the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. This phone is Samsung's top mid-range offering, and it has a lot to offer for the price. Coming in at around 9,999 Rand, or $350, or 320 euros, it's definitely a good contender for your money. Starting off with the design, the A54 is sleek and stylish. It's made of Gorilla Glass front and back, so it has a premium feel in the hand, and it's quite the fingerprint magnet. The back of the phone has a subtle camera bump that houses the triple camera lens system. The main camera lens is a 50 megapixel sensor with the f1.8 aperture. The ultra wide lens is a 12 megapixel sensor with the f2.2 aperture. And the macro lens is a 5 megapixel sensor with the f2.4 aperture. The front facing camera is a 32 megapixel sensor with an f2.2 aperture. Now I was unable to test these as the unit I was reviewing had a bug where it kept deleting every photo and video I took, even after a factory reset and taking it out of retail. So I don't have any pictures or video samples to show. I also didn't want to use the press photos that were on the phone as they were very polished and don't represent real world results for me. Hopefully this is just an isolated incident with this display unit. Speaking of the display, Samsung has made a big improvement here. The A54 5G has a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate. This means that the screen is very smooth and responsive, and it's great for watching videos and playing games. The display is also HDR10 certified, so you can enjoy rich and vibrant colors. Samsung also made the improvement to the peak brightness to 1000 nits, making outdoor visibility way better. Now one of the biggest worries about the A54 was the chipset. With the disappointing performance of the Exynos 1280 in the A53 5G, it seemed risky for Samsung to once again bet on Exynos, but I will say this time it has paid off. The A54 5G is powered by the Exynos 1380 chipset and it's an improvement from last year, giving better gaming performance in games like Genshin Impact and also ensuring smooth and stable performance throughout all applications. Coupled with the 8GB of RAM in this model, you have plenty of power for everyday tasks. The phone also has 256GB of storage, which is expandable via microSD card. Its USB-C has stereo speakers, and it has an IP67 water and dust resistance rating for that added peace of mind. Another peace of mind feature is the large 5000mAh battery, which should easily last you a full day on a single charge. It's also great for long YouTube sessions, extended gaming time, or zoning out to a good Spotify playlist. The phone also supports 25 watts of fast charging, so you can quickly top it up when you need to. The A54 5G runs on Android 13 with One UI 5.1 on top. This is the latest version of Samsung's custom Android skin, and it also offers a number of new features and improvements, such as improved notifications, better battery management settings, improved split screen, and stackable widgets just to mention a few. Samsung has also guaranteed 4 OS updates and 5 years of security update. The Samsung Galaxy A54 5G is a great value for money mid-range phone. It has a sleek design, a greatly improved processor, an amazing display, and a long-lasting battery. Now I've been getting the question, is it better than the Galaxy A73? Well, yes and no. There are improvements that Samsung has made that benefit the A54, such as the screen, which is a big improvement, the glass back for the premium feel, and better Bluetooth streaming. The A73 is a great phone, and Samsung was truly flexing some mid-spec muscle. For those who love benchmarks, the A73 benchmarks a little better than the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and Note 20 Ultra with the Exynos chip. All that aside, the A54 does hold its own with gaming performance and wins the content consumption battle. As an everyday package deal, if you're looking for a new mid-range phone, the A54 5G is definitely worth considering. Thanks for watching my review of the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. And a huge shout out to the team at Samsung Experience Store Clearwater for allowing me to film in store. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, we're out.